Alright, recently I've been having a lot of fun experimenting with like different genres I haven't tried before. And one subgenre that I still haven't tried out is like cloud rap beats, or I guess you could call them like ambient hip hop beats, sort of in the style of Clams Casino. Very strange producer name, by the way. Like, surely this name has history, no? I don't know. Only issue is, I don't really know how to go about making cloud rap, and I don't really have a history of listening to it either. What it kind of reminds me of is those like sad Blade Runner edits on like Instagram and TikTok. But of course, I'm still gonna give it a go. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of Clams Casino. more time i think these cloud rap beats are like 120 to 115 bpm as i learned from my previous video 120 bpm is really not a comfortable speed for me so i'm gonna go for like 145 i think i want to use a similar sampling technique but then maybe do something different with the drums so obviously for a clams casino beat there's gonna be some heavy sampling involved so as per usual i'm going straight to youtube and the first artist i'm gonna try out is someone called malibu probably one of my favorite female vocalists and i've already sampled a few of these so i need to pick one that i haven't sampled before this one two unskippable ads that's great That is why she's probably like my favorite ambient artist. I don't think there's many obvious chord changes, but there's enough variety in like vocal notes and texture that I think the sample is still usable. I'm gonna whack this into FL Studio. I think this is gonna be the least fun part of making the beat, or most fun, depending on what you enjoy. But first thing to do is define some sort of like area of interest for the sample, so. That's pretty cool. All right, I think I'm gonna start the sample like here. And I think before I start chopping it up, I'm gonna process the sample a little bit. It's gonna be a bit more unconventional. Like usually for these beats, you would pitch them down so they're more atmospheric. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna pitch it up. To be fair, that does sound pretty cool. I'm gonna add this to a mixer track and then add some effects on it. So from here you can go a number of ways. There's a few intelligent ways to do it and then there's the way that I do it. I think Prod Bolona recently uploaded a video where he uses granular synths to sort of emulate Clams Casino sound. But I thought about doing it was just opening a Serato sample or a Fruity Slice or a Slice X or something like that and just chopping up a melody that way. And using granular synths to add different textures is a really good way of going about it. So I might try it out in a second, but I think to get an idea of the melody, I'm gonna use the Serato sampler first. And I think I want very fast chops for this. So I'm going to set Slice off, bring it down to a half. Now I have these small segments that I can mess around with, see if I can find some samples in here. None of these notes are really appropriate to use as my next chord, so now I'm going to have to open another instance of Serato sample. And I'm gonna to go to the end of the sample here and then keep sweeping through the melody, basically. Kind of boring, it's tedious, but it is worth to get a good melody. Now we're getting somewhere now. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. I don't know how close that is to Clams Casino sound. This is where the real fun begins. Now what I'm gonna do, lay this pattern out next to the actual sample, and I'm gonna sweep through the sample myself one more time and try and match some individual chops in the sample to the main melody that I've just made. This is gonna take forever. That one's pretty close. Drag that one out. I'm gonna automate them a little bit like that. And of course you can go into Serato sample here and just increase the attack of the chop you want. I don't know why I've chosen to do it this way. I think I just prefer the sample chops in the playlist rather than the pattern, but that's just like personal choice, you know? All 
All right, I think I have an idea for a chord progression with this. Uh, I'm gonna repeat the main melody again, but it's gonna have a slightly different root notes. Probably gonna need serum for this. There's a lot of noise on that one, a lot of distortion. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. My guess is that the drive is already all the way up on the main preset, and yeah, it is, okay. Okay, so I'm going to clone Serum again. First bass line has a lot of distortion, a lot of high end. I'm going to look for a nice sub bass to sort of round it out basically. I'm going to change up the melody a little bit now. I'm going to run the sample through the granular synth and then I'll drop small fragments from those samples and then add them to the main melody. And when it comes to granular synth, there's a few options. FL Studio has a pretty nice one. I think probably my favorite granular synth is in Ableton, but as you can tell, I'm an FL Studio enjoyer. So I'm going to use Granulizer 2 for this one. I'm going to start on like all default grain densities with this preset here. I'm just going to record this in Edison and see what comes out. It sounds cool, but I want some more variation, so I'm going to increase the grain size a little bit. I'm gonna have to pitch both of them up. Put this here. I'm gonna drag that over here. Alright, I think if I have to do any more sample chopping, I'm genuinely going to start making beats on the MPC. As if I'm ever going to be able to afford an MPC. I'm going to delete these now because I don't need them anymore. I don't want to mess up the arrangement of my samples, so I'm going to bounce out the melody and then start on the drums. I think a lot of Clams Casino type beats have live acoustic elements in them, so I'm going to try and incorporate that into the beat as well. I want like a more obvious live hi-hat. Brother, I'm gonna be hearing the metronome in my sleep. Maybe increase the attack a bit. very slowly coming together. I might add the samples back in. Right now what this beat is missing is energy. Like it's missing some momentum basically. I'm gonna add a kick and I might need a drum VST or something. Need one more kick on top of that. To bring it all together, it needs like one or two more things. So I'm gonna open up Contact, and all I'm really looking to do is give the drums a more realistic sound. Because right now, all they sound like is a bunch of one shots on a channel rack. Okay, sounds like my old GCSE music classroom. Right, 
we'll see what this sounds like with the rest of the hats now. All right, that's sounding cool. I'm gonna clone this. I might layer the kicks and snares with this VST as well. Definitely needs mixing. So I'm gonna throw a couple more effects on the main melody, maybe throw some delay on the drums and we'll see what the final beat sounds like. One thing I should highlight about the drums, similar to what Prod by Lona did in his video, I ran some of the one-shot drums into this field effect compressor because I wanted the drums to be a bit brighter and I also added a bit of reverb to them as well to make them a bit more atmospheric. When it comes to arrangement, and I've added some pitch automation and some reverb and delay to the start just to act as some sort of introduction. But it's like the second video in a row that I've used pitch automation. This is like what a producer does when they first discover they can automate things in FL Studio. I think my main issue with the beat is because the melody is very repetitive, the drums are basically just doing the same thing as well. Kind of gets boring to listen to after about 20 seconds. Could definitely use some variation and maybe like the drum arrangement. Maybe I pitch the melody down by an octave. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, that might sound cold. I think I prefer the version that's up an octave. By the way, this is a very weird beat. Don't know if I succeeded in making a Clams Casino type beat though. But before I play the final beat, I want to say real quick, a big thank you for watching. I don't know, hopefully if for whatever reason you're trying to make something like this, uh, this video helped you in some way. It feels kind of weird to ask because you've already like taken the time to watch the video. So it almost doesn't feel right to ask this. But if you found any value in the video whatsoever, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate that a lot. I don't pay too much attention to subscribe account because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. My personal goal for the end of this year is to end 2024 with 10,000 subscribers, hopefully, maybe. I don't know if it's possible. That would be an insane number for me, to be honest. That's like the milestone I'm walking towards right now. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching. And yeah, this is what the final beat sounds like.